giving their time for free and helping to save lives. Blood biker Steve Thompson picks up medical samples from a GP in Staleybridge and takes them for testing at Tameside Hospital. You do get people coming up to you saying, you brought blood to Tameside, um, you saved my son's life or my daughter's life and things like that. Thank you very much. It's worthwhile. It is worthwhile. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, Steve. I've got a job in for you. Uh, could you go over to St Anne's Hospice? Paul Radfern is the chairman of Blood Bikes Manchester. So, Paul, just explain what we're looking at on these maps here. Right, what you'll see is you'll see all our fleets that are highlighted in, in orange. Yeah. That's where they're based. Yeah. Tonight, Paul's coordinating his fleet of five motorbikes who will be picking up and dropping off blood, breast milk for babies and medical samples across Greater Manchester. He's been doing this since the charity started four years ago. It's giving something back to the community. We all know someone that's been involved with cancer. Um, that's why we got involved with the Christie and St Anne's. Again, it's saying thank you to them for caring for our friends. You know, um, that's why we do it. Using the volunteer bikers means trusts and hospitals save money. They don't have to hire expensive taxis and couriers. Staff at the Christie Cancer Hospital are grateful for the help of Blood Bikes Manchester. We're very happy to get into partnership with them from January of this year. Since then we've had about 600 sample journeys, which at a saving of around £10,000. Now that's money that can just go back into patient services elsewhere. So it's a very um, good service. Very pleased that these volunteers give up their time to help us out. Blood Bikes Manchester currently have five of these motorcycles as well as two cars and they've all been paid for by charitable donations. They don't get a penny off local authorities or the government and they're always looking for new bikers, people who can give up their time for free to perform this invaluable work. Tim Scott, ITV News, Manchester.